attention tonight in the death of LeBron Rankin. He's the eight-year-old special needs child who was 23 pounds when he died. Our series of reports on his death brought to light accusations. The Department of Human Resources did not do enough to save him. Tonight, three Mobile County DHR caseworkers have been named in a lawsuit. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson has been leading our investigation into LeBron's death. She joins us now. Rachel. At Kim and Greg, multiple agencies are continuing to fight for justice for LeBron. Today, LeBron's estate filed suit against three caseworkers and LeBron's mother, Cedra Rankin. The lawsuit alleges Mobile County DHR employees April Smith, Alicia Daniels, and Shanita Davis were negligent in their oversight of his case. Smith is the caseworker who received these two written complaints from Augusta Evans staff members concerned about LeBron's weight and appearance. Former staff members described his condition to NBC 15, saying he once had roaches crawling out of his clothes, wheelchair, and diaper, along with reoccurring ringworm. And these workers that we've sued today, they're the ones who should have done it. It's their job to protect LeBron, and they didn't do it. Our taxpayers pay for these workers to protect our most vulnerable, and you couldn't get more vulnerable than LeBron. Attorney Tommy James has filed previous lawsuits against DHR, but this is the first against specific caseworkers. The Department of Human Resources in Mobile County denied the allegations that LeBron died of negligence on behalf of the department. What is your response? Well, it said on LeBron's autopsy report that, ne that neglect contributed to his death. They were put on notice that he was being neglected. After receiving the complaints from staffers, DHR visited LeBron's home on March 26. The department didn't find evidence of neglect and closed the case. LeBron died 11 days after that visit. Mobile police described LeBron's living condition as very poor. Species and, and blood smeared across the walls, filled strong odor of urine, just horrible, filthy conditions he was living in. And they're saying they were out there a little over a couple of weeks before and didn't notice any of that. That's hard to believe. We went by LeBron's old apartment at Sandpiper Townhomes again today. Two years later, his unit is still vacant. It's probably not suitable. Neighbors say the apartment is in bad shape. They say they haven't seen maintenance workers trying to fix it up either. And the house looked like it was, it was not, it was destroyed inside. It was pretty bad inside. So if they're gonna, I guess, rent it again, they're gonna have to remodel it or do a lot of things to it. James said he hopes to get this on a trial docket in 2021. Greg.